So I'm kind of inside the tent here. I think I showed you inside there before. I got this nice double thick air mattress. My wife loves it and we spent time tonight. And I, I gotta tell you people, we do have a little heater in here. It's up to you what you wanna do with heaters. I don't recommend this, okay? So just to cover myself on all legal things, I don't recommend this. This is something we do. We're not teaching you to do this, all right? All right, it's safe for us, but it might not be safe to you. Look at this, late at night, I got, I got full electricity here. I got full light. I got spotlights on the outside shining in. There's a laptop on the table, full power, full electricity. And you know what the best thing about this camping setup? is my wife who lives outdoors and she's sitting there eating her meal that we had tonight we got a lot of food out here and we couldn't eat it all and this is my amazing beautiful camping wife right here <laughs> that we just spent time together for a while tonight and watching you know the fellowship through live stream because you know we'd moved across state lines and um you know it was a lot of work last week you know, we've been here for Sukkot, camping out with a lot, hundreds of other people. And this is amazing. And we spent time tonight, you know, in the tent, just watching the live stream so we could relax. And what an amazing time between the two of us. I love this woman so much. And look at the headline. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tactical headlamp. This is not your average headlamp from Walmart. Look at this. And she got this before I knew her. And she's enjoying learning. Look at this. She's even got a strobe light on. <laughs> this is my lovely wife. And I love her so much. And we're building an extraordinary relationship here. I love this so much. And both of us have been growing very close. We got... We got married quickly, a couple months, but we knew. I mean, it's amazing. I never thought I would get married so soon, and I gotta. I'm not encouraging everybody to do this, <laughs> but this was an equal yoke, according to scripture, and we knew the spirit was leading because <clears throat> the state she lived in. You all know I'm from New York anyway, so I can share that there because I'm not. I'm not there anymore anyway. Um, you don't have to know where we're going or anything like that. Um, just enjoy the journey with us, you know, because that's what Camper Hollow is about. And, you know, we're preparing. We got stuff, you know, we got storage systems and things like that. But it doesn't matter where they are. You know, all you people who are sharing everything online where you're storing your food, <laughs> you're a target. We're not sharing that. We just move around. We're all over the place. We rent. We don't own, you know. But anyway, all that aside, we are blessed. We are so blessed. And this amazing woman that God brought me together with, we got married so quickly. Um, you know, everybody has speed bumps, right? But my lovely wife and I, we're working through it very quickly. This is a blessing from our Heavenly Father for both of us. And this is the beauty of our lives together. And I'm so thankful for this woman. You know, she doesn't get in the videos very often. But when she does, it's because we have a message to bring. And that's what we want. And, you know, maybe in time she'll, you know, get in the videos more often. You know, just as she feels comfortable. I'm not pressuring her. But, you know, we pray a lot together. We do a lot together. And... I, she's in a jacket right there. I'm in a, like a, just a very light t-shirt. <laughs> but, you know, everybody has different tolerances to temperature. I'm usually the one who's cold. You know, at home, you know, I'm the one turning the heat up. She's going, will you turn that stuff down? <laughs> you know, so it's different. And I think it has something to do with the humidity. So that's what it's about. But, you know, and she, I have to just build up my wife as I always do and just I'm very thankful and because this journey is happening so very quickly and anybody that's an off-grid camper, prepper, anything like that knows the challenges. But we live here, um, we have, and I'm going to show you something, 
most of our light does come from a gas light right there but everything else is solar you know I showed you the, the battery banks I've got solar lights outside shining on the front of our tent with a sign out front that says camperhollow.com Sukkot 2020 and these lights are amazing when I set them up they're bright right now but if nobody passes by for a while they go dim and they have sensors on them so when people go by they'll brighten up and give full full light you know it's kind of a security measure and these windows are big anybody that passes by can look in here and we're not afraid of that but we have the private tent right there and we have some light in there it's off right now but that's our privacy and we have a tarp over that so people can't see through not that we're doing anything weird or anything like that but we're comfortable in there double thick queen size air mattress zero degree sleeping bags but the heat from here it's flowing into there and here and we got one flat pulled back now these tents are separate because we but we have a huge tarp over the top so we can walk from tent to tent and still be inside and I'm going to show you you know we got bins and bins full of stuff and one of the things I'm thinking of is you know this is a new tent you know it's a canopy tent and we it came with all four sides and this is really very nice and these we have two door openings one here that we go into the tent and we have another one that you know we can zip shut at night or when we go out and we can move these when we set them up because each section is separate so if we had like this into this like that section could actually go up here if I bought another one of these canopy tents and put it out there and extended that because it, we're learning on this trip that this is very tight that we've combined our kitchen and our dining room and you can see the limited space that we have and my wonderful beautiful wife is tolerating all this <laughs> she's a very patient guy I love her so much I love her laughter everything and but this is what we're faced with you know I have a second heater we don't even need it don't even need it you know and it's you know we, we're, we've been down like 30 degrees at night sometimes but we're not worried we're warm and we're comfortable so I'm thinking of buying one more of these and we can either extend it out that way that way or that way but because our footprint here for our camping site is just kind of one long stretch out to that point that's what we ended up with so what we're looking for and this is Sukkot or Feast of Tabernacles what we're looking to do is I'm going to buy another one of these and put another section out there so that we have out there that the entrance area because right now this is our entrance if we have guests or anything like that this is where they come in and we were hoping we'd have more room for them we probably don't we might might be able to do something a little something here um actually I, have, I i gotta tell you we have one more table right here and this goes up to counter height and i want to put that here and it'll come up because this is going to be like a counter height section the only counter height section we have besides the stove that we can work up here and set bins up and wash dishes that's what this is going to be and i'm hoping like right in the corner either to put a tarp across or the shower tent that we can go in and take a shower because i have battery operated shower that'll pull <coughs> warm water out of a bucket i'll get into that more later but that table i think will fit there like right here even if i have to move those bins i'm going to get that in and we're going to have our own private shower because the tarp outside covers this we have that privacy and we're going to be able to walk there because there's no floor in this tent and if we want to take a shower right there it's more private to us than the public ones so this is what we're working on and so bear with us and take the journey with us 
as we develop more because in the past in this channel I've done a lot of pictures and stuff I didn't ever I wasn't ever able to do live videos and once I had the opportunity when I was able to get out camping I want to do the live videos and I have a beautiful wife to do that with now and we're going to be winding down here soon actually so this is what we're working on and we have everything to survive in here we can live 12 months out of the year right here in this setup and stay warm electric power i got solar panels when i get to the point we set them up outside there right in front and we're going to run the wire in here to charge charge the battery banks we've got a battery bank in the back to run lights in there or whatever we need charge phones and everything else so thanks for watching if you're new to the channel please subscribe give us a thumbs up on the you know button there and uh, come on back and watch more as we grow and develop my wife and I had a very great time tonight and we'd love for you to come back and visit us again Shalom people may Elohim our God in heaven bless you greatly